So, once again, we're here on November 12th. Neil, can you give us a look at what's going on in the chassis today? Okay, the uh, focus today on the chassis was to get it stripped out as much as possible, uh, getting all the remaining uh, linkages, control arms pulled out. And the big thing too was remove the wiring, which uh, we looked at before I showed you what, it, what we yanked out so far and the state of it. Everything, very, everything in bad shape, rotten of course, but uh, it, can be it can be replaced and uh, changed out with new stuff. The big thing was, was to pull out what we could, attacked of the old stuff, that it gives us an idea what gauge of wire we'll be using in the measurements. Uh, as well, everything else that we're looking at inside that's removable, that could be potentially damaged, we're pulling it out. Because once we do that and we get the, everything stripped down, we'll be then able to go in and uh, start attacking the insides of the sandblaster, cleaning up the, uh, all the rust and that that you uh, can obviously see exposed. And, uh, other com and getting at, uh, once we get that cleaned up, getting at any other components that do have to be remanufactured. Unfortunately, some of the brackets inside, the main uh, supporting brackets, are quite corroded and rotted too. It's the nature of the beast with being filled with... Uh, Filled with wet, uh, wet, grody debris for 70 years, it's just, uh, it's just eaten away and tacked a lot of the, uh, the thinner steel. But nothing there that we can't uh, overcome and replace, and uh, it's, it's a slow process, one piece at a time. But as I said, we're doing well today. We're getting pretty well. Everything straightened, everything stripped out. We've got all the wiring now, all the infrastructure. We're working on the gas tank coverages, dropping the gas tanks from down below. And once we finish that, we'll be probably pulling out the rest of the brake mechanism as far as up to the final drives anyway. That'll leave the hole bare inside and uh, clean enough for us to attack with a sandblaster, clean it out. And uh, once that's done, as I said, replace the uh, seal work that's rusted off. And once that's done and we're happy with it, we can start doing the uh, initial primer spray on it and uh, carry on with the, the finish coats as well, the, uh, the pale, the pale pale white or cream or elephant brow, I think they called it the, <laughs> the German name. It's kind of a cream or a, a, a light, uh, light cream or actually they call it ivory type paint they'll be using for the inside. But, um, one thing at a time, that's what we're doing, pulling out one chunk at a time and getting it. It's a slow process, but it's what you have to do to get, uh, to get, the, to get to the end result of what you want to have done. Well, thanks again for your time. No, no problem. Watch those things. There we go. Eureka. Does it need to be loosened off? Uh, some? Potentially.
And what's this ring here? That's, that's just the bearing. It's all part of it, isn't it? Yeah. And this did come off before? This one has not been off. Oh, okay. So they are sticky, are they? The other one, there 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 we go. The other one wasn't, and that was actually falling off on its own. I had the nut off. No, I got a, I got a bit of more rust in that one. So uh, here we are again at the end of the November 12th work session. Neil, would you mind giving us a look at what happened in the chassis? All right, so let me get all up. Uh, our endeavors today were to strip the chassis out as much as possible. And we've done a good job on that. We removed all the wiring, all the electric uh, infrastructure that goes along with it, i.e. The, uh, the main uh, hub shelter, the main switches, uh, the rest of the solenoid, um, the battery cabling grouping, and all the smaller incendiary wires that came up to uh, feed the uh, control panel or the connection boxes on each side of the driver and the, uh, and the radio operator. In addition, we made an attack on uh, removing the uh, other brake arm. We were able to get that out for the uh, right hand steering lever. And also, we went underneath and removed some of the belly plates that uh, covered up the gas tanks. The gas tanks, uh, even though they look like they're exposed on top, are actually not. That's a metal superstructure that's welded on top of them to give it an extra, extra protection from uh, hot splinters or anything that came through. And uh, so we had to go underneath it, open up the belly plans, the belly plate pans, uh, move those, take them down, and drop them. We got one of the tanks out today. Um, I think you've got some shots of that. And. Uh, the rest of the things we carried up, other general things that were going on that uh, we wanted to finish off today and get out. We pretty well all got it done, uh, except for the brake drums. We were hoping to get those out right down to the uh, edges of the hull to where the final drives are, but we ran into a little bit of a problem towards the end of the day. We're going to have to get some different tools to get in there and uh, tackle those, but uh, you can see them still through the ports here. Connected the rest of the uh, the brake uh, the brake shoe mechanism is still there. We've got the internal drums pulled off on one side, but uh, a bit more uh, bit more special tooling that we're going to have to bring next time and finish that off. Once that's done, we'll pretty well have the hull stripped out, and we should be able to start getting geared up towards uh, having the blaster come in and uh, doing a sandblast and, and cleaning up. That's done. There's still some steel work in there, some of the mounting brackets for the transmission that have to be repaired. Uh, uh, we didn't realize it how bad they were until the transmission was pulled out. So once we take a look, see, yes, old you know, Mr. Russ has been at work in there doing his 70 years of damage. So some uh, additional repairs and actual metal work will have to go in there as well. Uh, so next session, we're just going to carry on from where we were here. More uh, stripped down, we'll get the rest of the gas tanks out underneath. And we'll attack the rest of the braking uh, mechanisms here on both sides, get them pulled out. And uh, from there, well, we'll take that as it comes. All right, well, thanks very much for your time. No problem.